his choice of communication technology is not the only thing conservative about him. The cardinal is a hardliner on Catholic doctrine. Like Pope Francis, he upholds traditional positions on abortion, gay marriage, birth control, and women's ordination. All right, folks, uh, welcome to Gimme Five. That's Nora O'Donnell on CBS uh, talking about and soon to be talking to Cardinal Sean O'Malley of Boston. He's a hardliner because he agrees with the Pope on abortion and the ordination of women and, and, and marriage. That makes him a hardliner? No, that makes him a Catholic. I mean, what you're about to see is disgusting, it's disrespectful, it's feminism gone nuts, it's journalism, quote-unquote, gone nuts. It's insulting, but this is, this is how the liberal media gets away with it. I want to see them interview a, uh, a, a, someone in a mosque, someone running a mosque, someone high up in the uh, Muslim religion, and talk to them about women's rights, and then call them a hardliner. I mean, I mean, this is disgusting. Watch more. The church says it's not open to the discussion about ordaining women. Why not? Well, not everyone needs to be ordained to... Uh, to have that important role in the life of the church. The Some would say women do a lot of the work but have very little power. Well, uh, power is not a word that we like to use in the church. It's more service. You know, she is disgusting. I am not Catholic. I am Jewish. And that is so darn highly offensive. Yeah, women do a lot of work and they don't have any of the power. Why not ordain them? Because that's not Catholicism. And like the, like the Cardinal said, it is not about power. We don't like to talk about power when it comes to the church. But when you're a radical feminist, apparently, and boy, her feminist fangs are out for this one, respect, there's no such word. Watch. But they can't preach. They can't administer the sacraments. I mean, well, some women feel like they're second-class Catholics because they can't do those things that are very important. The tradition of the church is that we have always ordained uh, uh, men and that the priesthood uh, reflects the incarnation of Christ who in his humanity uh, is a man. Ooh, now that really makes him a radical hardliner. He said Christ in his humanity was a man. I'm sure Nora O'Donnell could find some wackos to say Christ was really a woman. Or maybe didn't know what he was. I mean, folks, this is disgusting. And, and, and kudos and congratulations to the Cardinal. For, and it's not a surprise that a man of his stature uh, a, a, would sit there and, and handle himself so eloquently and respectfully and, and, and make a fool out of her. Yeah, we're women. Why not? Why can't women do this? Because that's not what the religion says. You don't like it? Then leave. Go get another religion. I mean, for crying out loud. More. But in spite of that, does the exclusion of women seem at all immoral? Well, Christ would never ask us to do something immoral. The sense of women equality. I mean, just the sense of sort of the fairness of it, you know? You wouldn't exclude someone based on race, but yet you do exclude people based on gender. Well, it's a matter of vocation and what God has given to us. <laughs> she, I, I would not have believed this, and you know I believe anything these days, and the media and the bigotry in the media, the anti-Catholic bigotry, and I don't care if she, I don't know if she's Catholic. I don't care if she's Catholic. It doesn't matter to me. I'm not. And I'm offended. And he is now my hero. I want to meet this cardinal more than anyone else in the world and shake his hand. Here's one more. The cardinal's careful candor isn't limited to the church's mishandling of abuse. Take the Vatican Doctrine Office's crackdown on American nuns for focusing more on social justice than issues like abortion and contraception placing the nuns under the supervision of three bishops. It looked like a crackdown from men at the Vatican. Yeah, here we go again. Men, sexist, bigoted. Shame on Nora O'Donnell. That is disgusting. Your Newsmax Now updates next.